Well, a Chicago alderman is accused of abusing his power by directing city workers to target one of his critics. WGN's Andrea Medina is joining us live in Jefferson Park, where she spoke with a resident who says this isn't the first time he's been targeted. Andrea. Ben and Lourdes, a homeowner, believes that the garden in his front yard was targeted four years ago because of his vocal criticism of his alderman. He says the alderman had city workers write him a ticket for violating, uh, um, I should say, violating a weed ordinance and also goes on to say that he accuses him of revenge and the inspector general agrees. Back when we had a uh, late great Department of the Environment, they advocated for planting native plants and about 75% of the plants in the garden are natives. Jefferson Park resident Pete Sesneka takes great pride in his garden. He and his wife have been growing these plants for about 12 years and it features 25 different varieties. This monstrosity here, this is called a cup plant. It's also native to Illinois, native to Chicago region, and it's related to the prairie doctor. So Back in 2019, says NECA received this citation that claimed his front yard was filled with overgrown weeds and harboring rodents. You'll find plants that are decorative, obviously decorative, that are bigger than 10 inches. I spotted a bundle of them around here, uh, made of plant gardens, and this is the only one that got a ticket. So it's obvious that there's some political retaliation going on. Says NECA points to public records that reveal messages between 45th Ward Alderman Jim Gardner and city employees acknowledging his garden was legal, but still scheming to issue the weed citations. He fought the fines in the following year. A judge ruled in his favor. This has been going on since January of 2020, where the Office of the Inspector General has been investigating this among myriad other gardener unethical behaviors. The Chicago Inspector General has now concluded the investigation and accordingly reports it reveals in part the sitting alder person directed city employees to issue unfounded citations for overgrown weeds and rodents to the home of a constituent who had been publicly critical of the alder person. The IG does not name the alder person, but previous reportings point to the 45th Ward alderman. The IG found probable cause to believe the alder person violated the city's ethics ordinance. I hope that people get out of this report that they can fight and work to hold government accountable. We have reached out to the alderman for comments, but we haven't heard back. The Chicago Board of Ethics will review the IG's findings and claims against the alderman, who will have the chance to make his case in a hearing. We are live in Jesperson Park. Andrea Medina, WGN News.